Hello aviators, I welcome you on board flight of Captain Vijay in the series of flights to study air regulations for DGCA, CPL and ATPL examination. Today we will fly through the topic of air traffic services. The term air traffic services, by the name it appears that it is providing takeoff and landing clearance to departing and arriving aircraft. But their role, duties and responsibilities are much more than that and that is what we are going to learn in this video lesson. So fasten your seat belts as we are ready for takeoff. An extra 11 to Chicago Convention lays down the standard and recommended practices for the establishment of an air traffic services. Each state is required to establish an authoritative body responsible for setting up and regulating the operation of air traffic services. In India, regulating body for air traffic services is Airport Authority of India. PANS ATM, which stands for Procedure for Air Navigation Services Air Traffic Management, document 4444 is published by ICAO as the definitive reference for establishment and management of air traffic services. Now let's see what are the objectives of air traffic services. <clears throat> the objective of air traffic services is to prevent collision between aircraft, to prevent collision between aircraft on maneuvering area and obstructions. To expedite and maintain an orderly flow of air traffic. Provide advice and information useful for the safe and efficient conduct of flights. Notify appropriate organization regarding aircraft which needs search and rescue services. Air traffic service has been divided into three divisions. Air Traffic Control Service, Flight Information Service and Alerting Service. Let us discuss them one by one. Air Traffic Control Service When an aeroplane takes off from an airport and lands at another, its flight path can be divided into three sections. First is Takeoff and Landing Phase. Second, Arrival or Departure Phase. And third is the Cruise Phase. And for each of these phase of flight, a different air, air traffic control service is provided. For takeoff and landing, aerodrome control service. During arrival and departure, approach control service. And during cruise phase of the flight within an FIR, area control service. Flight information services. The air traffic service unit providing flight information service are called flight information centers. Generally, flight information centers will be co-located along with each FIR. In India, we have four FIRs named Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata and Chennai FIR and FIR boundaries as shown on the screen. Each FIR would provide flight information service through the co-located flight information center. So what kind of flight information do the flights get from the FIC? Well, flights will get information like weather, airport availability, availability of a nav aids, etc. Time in ATC. ATC units throughout the world report time in hours, minutes and seconds with time reference to coordinated universal time which is called UTC. This uses a 24 hour clock format. UTC is also known as Zulu time or Greenwich mean time. 1200 hours UTC would be the time at which the sun is directly over the Greenwich Meridian which is located at 0 degree east or west. ATC clocks and timing devices are to be checked to ensure that the time indicated is within plus minus 30 seconds of UTC at all times and time checks are rounded off to the nearest minute. The third service of air traffic services is alerting service. Whenever any flight faces an emergency situation on ground, medical and firefighting services are activated at the airport. But if aircraft encounters an in-flight emergency, which leads to a crash or forced landing at a place other than airport, then rescue and coordination center is activated for rescue and firefighting at the crash site. This is called alerting service of air traffic services. It is the responsibility of air traffic controllers to declare an alert 
whenever he has a suspicion about safety of the flight and there are three phases of this alert let's see them one by one and they are important from exam point of view uncertainty phase code is insefa this stage exists when no communication has been received from the aircraft within a period of 30 minutes after a time at which the normal communication should have been made or the aircraft fails to land at the destination within 30 minutes of its estimated arrival time second phase is called alert phase code word alerfa the alert phase would be declared after the uncertainty phase when further attempts to make communication with the aircraft has failed and there is no further news of the aircraft or the aircraft fails to land within 5 minutes after issuing of landing clearance or information has been received that the operating efficiency of the aircraft is impaired or it is known that the aircraft has been subjected to unlawful interference the third and last phase is distress phase code word distress fa the distress phase would be declared after alert phase further attempts of communication with the aircraft is unsuccessful and conditions indicate the probability the aircraft is in distress or the fuel on board is considered to be exhausted or information is received that the operating efficiency of the aircraft is impaired to such an extent that forced landing is likely or the information is received that aircraft is about to or has already made a forced landing so with this we have completed the video lesson on air traffic services and we have arrived at our destination if you have liked the video please subscribe the channel like share and comment and hope to see you on board again for the next flight until then happy landings